This is what it's all been building up to. 27, what a good number. Oh, it's one of these guys again. Well, it looks like they're not really a uniquely powerful enemy, at least. You know, you could just... Beat him like you beat any other enemy. From landing on top of them... No! Ugh, well, a good thing there is this item right here. So it's not really that big of a deal? I mean, honestly. But they do come back pretty quickly, it seems. Or alter- I mean, that could have been a different one. I guess I don't know how many there necessarily are scattered around this area. Alright, who's next, huh? I do like this music. I feel like they're really sort of making their- the most they can out of this. What was that? Did you hear that? What was that? I don't know. But it sure sounded weird. Wario jumps! As majestic as Echo the Do- Oh, I wanted to keep- I should have kept the other one. That's the thing, you can never know what cap you're gonna need until the level has tricked you into getting rid of the old cap. Also, these enemies really... being underwater doesn't bother them at all. You know, this is like less dangerous than... What? I was totally on top of it, come on! Anyhow... Oh, look at these! Yeah, we totally need the jet hat here. Maybe we'll be able to get it through this door, though. Oh, Wario, you and your mohawk. Unfortunately, we can't know for sure what we're gonna find in there, can we? Oh, uh, well, no, this still isn't really what we were looking for. I can't believe I still couldn't take out that thing. Hey. Finally, we took out one of them. So why, I'm not really sure. Um, I guess fundamentally just because we're a jerk. Oh no, I was hoping it would be garlic or something. Or not garlic, I want it to be a jet cat. What about this one? Well, I mean, this is a nice thing to have, of course, but like, it's not quite what I was hoping for. Normally I'd be thinking this is just incredible, getting one of these, but... This goes to show... How... how quickly, you know, our sentiments do change. How am I gonna get out of here, though? Really? There's no, like, caps or...? What am I missing here? Really, look. How do I... Oh, there we go. It was in the middle. That seems like a logical place I should have thought to look. Oh. Well... We lacked the jet cap. So we probably did miss a treasure. But we can come back here later and get that treasure. Without too much trouble, I mean, I would hope. Yeah, good job at me. Woo, Wario's great. He says, he laughs, crosses his big meaty arms. You know, if even Wario can get big meaty arms, maybe I could at least, like, have upper body strength of any sort. That's my secret weakness, you know. My upper body. That natto. Yeah, we're just smashing blocks. I keep being like, I need to quit now. This will be the final level I go through tonight. But then it's not. And you know why? It's because I... It's because it's so... You always... There's always... It's one of those like, well, just one more. Just one more level. So clearly, as painful as this game is, it is also getting under my skin here. You know, it's also like making me continue playing like it's an addiction or something. 
Oh, here's a secret. Probably. What changed? Oh, yeah. If I, yeah, Super Mario Brothers 3 taught me secrets are in the sky. The problem with that is, though, this isn't Super Mario Brothers. This is Wario Land. Wario Land, anything goes, you know? This could be... Who knows what's gonna happen to us here? This is Wario Land. The same rules do not apply. At all. But it's worth getting these coins, right? I mean, I think so. Oh, I get it. These coins were previously like platforms, right? Well, probably. In any case, now we're finally getting a good number of coins. I like that. What? How did that hurt us? And now we probably did miss the real treasure that was hidden under those blocks there. Great. No, we don't need that. Let's just get out of here, Wario. You know, Wario, you put up with a lot of terrible stuff. And he's probably hears me say that, and he's like, Well, that's what I'm always saying. The thing is, it's like, he, you know, he, vo he volunteers to do this. No one's making him do this, you know? It's not like it's a societal expectation, so he still... He has the privilege to, like, even... God darn it! Darn it! He still has the privilege to complain, you know, to, to get into... to get into trouble if he wants to. Which he apparently does, if there's money in it. You know, I was saying earlier that you don't become a criminal, like, who's stealing money and stuff, unless it's because you're... You know, like... Oh! Oh, no. Come on, jet! No! There are no jets! It's... They always... If there's, like, a really valuable one, it's not one you're gonna find throughout the level, ever, is it? Uh, whatever. It sure doesn't feel like a triumph, despite the music and that... You know, I mean, I think... I appreciate that you're giving me a thumbs up, Wario. I honestly do. It means... Oh, it means so much to me here. I mean, this place, alone on this island... It really does mean a lot to me. Let's go. We've probably already missed so many treasures. But we're almost... we're aboard the... This is, like, the gangplank galleon of this. The Kremlings have that. The Black Sugar Gang has the SST Cup, which is admit us, admit... Oh, hold on. You know, I, I, I grant, I readily grant, you know, that's a, just a sort of cutesy name. But clearly the Black Sugar Gang is a formidable force. You know, they're not to be trifled with. They've stolen all these treasures, and, you know, if we're not careful... Okay, so this looks a lot like some of those other areas we've been. Like, this looks like the building after that, um, chasing lava stage, doesn't it? Is... were those other ship pieces then, do you think? What do you think was going on in those levels? I go for this one because it lets me get more coins, which is my goal here, you know? I mean, sure, it's nice to fight enemies, you know, to take them out and not get hurt. But is that really nice? Is what's nicer, not being in pain or rolling around in a giant pile of coins? Okay, that's what we're looking for. Or that's not what we're looking for. That's what we found, and now we're gonna look for the key, and we're gonna find the key, and then we're gonna take that key. Really, these levels are extremely non-linear. You go back and forth, and then you go back to earlier levels where things change. It really is very different. Uh, a different, altogether type of uh, experience than Mario. Hey, you're gonna throw that? Well, I mean, I know the answer. Of course you are. You always throw that things, you doofuses. What's in here? This looks like a treasure room. Right? Any keys, perhaps? 
No, no keys. I mean, it's nice to have the garlic, don't get me wrong. I guess those are windows. I guess I just thought that thing right there was a picture of a coin. But really, I think it was also a window. See, now we're beginning to get some proper pirate stuff going on here. You know, here we are aboard a pirate ship full of pirates with rigging, and masts, and treasures, and oh no, it's a one-way door. Uh, well, now we know where that takes us, at least. And it's not like there's gonna be more enemies up here to get in our way. Because they're dead. Yeah, Wario really is not humane, is he? I never looked at that thing we just passed before that was like the item that you use to get the jet cap. I think it's a pot with eyes, isn't it? Some kind of vase or something like that? I think so. Why do we hear the sound effect for the sword being thrown even though it didn't throw the sword? That's strange. Certainly not the sort of thing that normally happens. Ah, uh, gooms. I think that's what those little enemies are called. They're called gooms, like wandering gooms. It's a bit odd, isn't it? You know, why are they called wandering gooms? Are they wandering? I mean, they seem to be on a pretty clear set mission to me, and they don't really look anything like Goombas, do they? Why are they even on this ship? They don't seem to be capable of hurting anyone, much less being pirates. I mean, maybe, maybe they swab the deck with their teeth. I could see that. This is actually a much easier stage than what we've been dealing with. It's just a very different kind of stage because it's about exploring a in like a ship. You know, there's like it's a very different kind of environment. Here the time limit actually could very easily become a problem for us. Part of these ships almost look like they're built out of dye, don't they? But it's not dye. I mean, we know what it really is, you know. It's not dye. Oh, there's the key finally. Oh, but it's not going to be an easy thing to get, is it? Well, clearly no. Ugh. Why are those... Why do they put those blades there? I mean, you'd think that would just make it more difficult for them, like, the, the people of this ship, to get to this key. Now, I don't know how often they have any reason to get to that key. And I get that, in theory, it's just a security precaution. But it still feels a little weird, doesn't it? I mean, I think so. Okay, come on, Wario. We only have 156 seconds at this or 57 seconds at this point. Let's not waste them. We need to be fast about this. And uh, let's rush in here, and from now on, we're just gonna... I guess he's like a Viking, isn't he? We're like a Viking raiding a pirate ship. Except without all of the unbridled horror of the Vikings atrocities. Yeah, we missed a treasure in one of these earlier levels. Well, I'll look more around the environs of the SS Teacup after we get out of here. Make sense? You follow me? I don't get it. Why can't we go through the door the other way? Did Wario shut the door behind himself like himself? Is it an automatically shutting door? It's an odd thing to have, isn't it? I mean, I certainly think so. Maybe it makes sense to have gotten that uh, cap we just passed up. After all, we could really jet along at high speeds if we were literally at a jet to jet along with... with high speeds with... 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 I mean, do we have the where... like, without the wherewithal with which... to... jet around with the... with the... the... Per, jet with... All right, we're finally getting to the sped up, like, end of the level, you're taking too long music for this game, huh? I mean, I'm glad. Oh, well, it's fine. We have plenty of time. It doesn't matter. I just, like, what if those extra seconds became coins, for example? We would get so many more coins then. Oh, if only I were paid for every second I was alive, I would be rich. Actually, yeah, I mean... Pretty straightforward.
No, before we go here, we need to go look for treasures in some of these earlier stages. And the question, though, is which stage is... You know, I'm just going to install a walkthrough again. I've been open about this. I'm I'm not a purist. Whatever. Where the hell is the other thing? Look at all the squirming worms, or their waves. It's an abstract animation of water, which looks worse than the water animation in Super Mario Land 2, to which this is a sequel, so I'm just a bit of a downgrade. Ah, uh, starting with a bull hat. It's good stuff. Oh wait, I shouldn't have done that. I could have gotten coins. Oh no. Too late now, I guess. Unless there's another one of them. No, probably not. There is. Take this guy. There you go. Did you eat him? No. That bird didn't. It's hard to imagine, you know, a really a worse fate than being eaten. And yet Wario has no qualms about feeding his enemies to animals. I mean, to be fair, I'm pretty sure that his enemies in this case might be animals. I... I'm not sure about this, but I'm pretty sure that the, uh... Those spike nose guys, though, are intelligent. Huh? Oh, yeah, here, this must be it, right? This looks like the kind of place where treasure would be hanging out. Wario would know. He would hang out here since he's a national treasure. Well, that's what he would say about himself. The truth is, I don't think he is. Ugh. What the? What is that? What just happened? Is that a tree? I think it's a tree and that was a fruit that fell out of the tree. Well, that might be the weirdest thing that's happened so far. Which, frankly, I feel like there's a lot of competition for that. All right, look at this. There's bound to be a thing hidden in, see? I bet you behind one of these broken sets of blocks, or I mean sets of broken blocks, is the key. And we're gonna get that key. And with that key, we're gonna get all keyed up and then we're gonna open that lock and find more things. I, this is not an alternate egg. Oh, okay, so that's where the key is. It'll be through there. I'm just smashing these because we might be able to get more coins. We only have 24 right now. And having more than that, well, that's always good by my book. In my view. From my perspective. Where are we? I'm still not seeing any keys, but there's gonna- Oh, now that- I see, so we let the water into this room, which will let us get up this center area, where maybe we'll find a key. Wario rises faster than bubbles. Maybe on, uh, Kitchen Island, everything just kinda works slowly. Normally, I'd be a little hesitant to open a door and fall this far, but Wario can handle it because of his anti-gravity boots that I'm telling you, Dr. Krygor built him. Because who else would be building anti-gravity boots for Wario? I guess he could have stolen them. I guess Professor E. Gad could build something like that and Wario steals them. Oh, a scimitar! Wario, what do you say we start fighting pirates with this thing? Might be more effective than your elbow. Or not. I leave it up to you, to, you know, to your discretion, Wario. There is a... Oh, is that thing gonna fall? No, it's not gonna fall again. That was really quite the odd event. And then those uh, piranha plant things ate it. The thing is, I know they're not piranha plants. I know they're those smaller plants that are like probably uh, related to piranha plants that you often see. Ah, oh, darn it, I wish I could have kept the other one. Because then I could ground pound these uh, gators. 
I wonder what those gator enemies are actually called. Because I highly doubt that it's gators. I wonder... No, we were not able to hit that bug thing. We almost hit that second one, though. Of course, we also almost got our arm chomped off by a gator. So make of that what you will. What's the greater victory? I'm gonna risk this. I'm feeling lucky. The one time we got success was on this side, and it happened again. Oh yeah! Again! The worst we can have is- Ow! Ah! One more time. Come on, left side! Yeah! This is... Okay, I, I take back all the things I said. My luck's beginning to turn around. I love seeing them try and cram Wario's ugly, I mean extremely handsome face onto this little sprite. It doesn't quite look right, does it? Oh yeah, I can't do ground pounds anymore. Something I hadn't been sure about with these guys was whether I would be able to hurt them. Um, or rather, rather I would be hurt if I elbow- Okay! It, if, whether I would be hurt if I elbowed into them with my, uh, scimitar, or... If I elbowed into them when they were facing forward with their scimitar is what I'm trying to say. These mole guys, well, we all know how it's gonna go with them. If I'm not careful. But frankly, I think what just happened there is probably the best case scenario. Totally eliminated them handily. Simmer, scimitar boomerang thing. I'm really not sure, you know, how that's supposed to work, you guys, but seems to be working for you, so. Okay, now we had to, there were some reinforced metal doors back that way. I'm surprised these pirates have them, but it's not surprising. They're robots in the Mario series. Why, Super Mario Land already featured robots. So clearly, robots are nothing out of the ordinary. Not in these parts, anyway. I have a feeling I'm gonna find the boss, and I'm gonna... Here, here's, my, here's my prediction. I'll find the boss, then I'll fail the stage, then I'll come back here and find the boss again, but this time I won't fail the stage. The thing is, I'm getting a ton of coins, and don't... What the... There we go, and I don't want to lose any of them. And yet, here I am, getting ready to go fight a boss and potentially lose all of them, pretty easily. In fact, it might even be more likely that I'll lose all of... Wow, look at how many coins I'm getting a hold of here. Oh wait, there are spider guys. Well, there were. Think it's gonna be a spider guy I fight aboard the SS Teacup? Maybe it will even be the captain of the Black Sugar Pirates. Wouldn't that be dramatic? It could be like uh, in Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest. I always dislike that title. I know that I norm- Oh boy, you're back! I know I often like puns. And who can blame me? They're great. But... I, I don't know, I don't like that one. I don't like it when, you know, you're deciding to what to call something and you name it a pun. And it's something as big as a full video game, rather than just a little side story or something. Also, now that I know there's that, uh, door that needs open in here, I have a completely new perspective on this stage. I could even imagine... No, I'm not gonna be able to knock those... spider guys off. But I would like to... finish off this mole. Comically, you might have noticed that um, the mole's eye patch comes off, so that we see that it's not actually, you know, it has eyes, it's not missing an eye. Okay, this one right here by this spider, I bet you, is gonna be this rather lazy spy spider. Oh, we can stomp on them. You see, th that's the kind of thing I talk about when I'm talking about how the game is inconsistent. 
Because why could we stomp on the spiders, even though they have those big visible fangs, when we can't stomp on other things that... Well, never mind. Where was the... Uh... Oh, there's the door. It looked kind of like that door was twitching. Was, was that just me? Anyway, we have a hundred coins. Pretty good if I say so myself. In fact, I have so many coins, I feel like it behooves me to look up this boss again. You know, Wario wouldn't play fair. If he had a walkthrough, you know he'd be looking it up right now. I think in European Nintendo Power, in fact, Wario did host some kind of, like, walkthrough cheat section. Where he'd, like, there'd also have, like, funny stories that Wario is, like, telling. It what the? Oh. There we go. Whoa! What a moment for me to pause it. This is an action scene, people. Okay, so the boss... Okay. Oh! Once again, that weapon didn't get in our way. I'm... Huh, it's just, it's, the game is so inconsistent about that kind of stuff, isn't it? Okay, who's gonna be up here? Hold on, I saw coins. Look at all those coins. Okay. Wow, do we have a big hull this time. This is what we're here for. Well, we're here to buy a castle. Or to steal some stuff and get a castle anyway. It's like we're inside a tree, but this is the mast, right? What kind of mast is so thick you could fit this many people inside it? That's not an attractive bird. I believe it's now impossible for us to win because you have to be able to throw the in Oh wait, damn it, I could have- No! All my coins lost! Okay, let's do the whole level again. Because we know how these damn levels go. It's always the same garbage over and over and over again. We had so many coins. <sighs> There's nothing Wario could do to these guys that's cruel enough to really adequately reflect how I feel about them right now. But we got so many coins, though. We're gonna leave this level with such a haul if we play our cards right, so to speak. We're not actually playing any cards, we're fighting pirates. But you know, it's all... See, that time it hurt us. It's like complete... It feels completely random anyway. This level, in any case, we're already off to a much worse start here than we were before. Yeah, much, much worse. It's like last time we were a 10 I take back all the things I was saying about maybe things were starting to look up. No! This island sucks! And I hate it, and I want to destroy every last thing on it! Ugh. Let's go. Whatever. You know, that first time I saw a pirate mole, I honestly thought it was kind of a cool thing, you know, when you really get down to it. Also... Is it just me, or does Wario suddenly seem to be running more quickly than usual? I mean, maybe I'm truly just imagining that, but I always thought he's kind of slow. Did, did the jet cat make him run faster and I never noticed? Maybe. Oh, here's how we got through here, or could have gotten through before. See, things are paying off. Now I'll get even more money. And at the end of the day, isn't that what life is all about? It's all about how much money you made. Someday, though, you know, Wario's gonna die. And when that happens, do you think he's gonna... How, how's he gonna look back on his life? Will there be people who even remember him fondly? It could be a powerful and moving drama. A powerful condemnation of the so social forces that made Wario become the man he is today. It was very close. I almost... Almost lost. Yeah, I think he runs faster and jumps a bit higher by default with this. So that little noise we keep hearing, that too, 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 that's associated with the moles. 
Initially, I thought that was like a snoring sound, and I thought, well, are they snoring and I don't know it? Is there like a joke here? Perhaps their eyes are closed behind those sunglasses or something, but I've realized now, nope. I figured out what's going on. What the? Do you see that? Last time, jumping on them from above. Why is it like so random? Why can I never know if a stupid one of these attacks of ours is actually going to hit something? You, you never know. You can't know. It's like totally, it's arbitrary. Which frankly, kind of makes the game, you see, it's the thing that, it's that sort of thing which should be an unforgivably bad piece of design that I honestly kind of respect about uh, this game. Or uh, obscure games in general, not that this is exactly obscure, uh, but is you never know for sure what you're gonna get into. That's how you really feel like you're in some, some other place. This isn't like, say, Super Mario Brothers 3, it all, where it always follows exa- Wait, what? The treasure stays... The door stays open and the treasure stays claimed. Good to know, I've just assumed that if you, uh, lost a life, you would lose the treasure. I'm glad to know that that's the one thing, at least, that Wario will, you know, you can't pry from his fingers. No matter what happens. Is money. That's the great love of his life, money. And you know, he could do so much better. It's sort of like how in, in a, there's the WarioWare series, where we see his, you know him trying out his game design chops. One of the odd things in WarioWare is that the central joke is sort of that the Wario... that the games of his company makes are sort of shoddy. Um, but really, they're very good games. It just falls a bit flat, doesn't it? What was there over this way? So this level, hold on, this level we're on deck. The other levels, there was that level where we were sort of on the, um, running around inside the ship. So I guess each, each stage of the SST Cup has been having us look at a different, uh, part of the ship, right? I suppose. That one didn't do anything. Oh, that one must have been where the key was. That key was the key to getting the treasure. Literally, it was literally the key to get getting the treasure, yeah. We're, we're on board the deck of the ship now. The SST cup is actually enormous, isn't it? This is a huge, huge vessel. Also, this, it's confirmed Wario can walk on air. And we're also gonna get a hold of these uh, coins here, here, here. That's weird, when I was falling on these ladders last time, I don't think it moved the camera down like that, did it? That's odd. In fact, come to think of it, I thought that the air- No, 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 Wario, go back through here and stay inside the mast. Really, look at this mast. There must be room for dozens of people inside this mast. Maybe at some point in its history, the SS teacup was used as a Trojan horse, but instead of a horse, it was a ship. Okay, bird. Yo, bird! You also have that- you're really ugly. Like, I know Wario shouldn't be talking about- about looks here, but you really are. Like, what the- What? Oh, damn it! Da again! I gotta go through the whole level again! It's not like that it's bad to do- to go through the level. But man, I don't want to do it a million times! Oh, god. I- I- <sighs> You know what? It's... I, I, I really want the coins, but is are the coins worth wasting all this time for killing myself a little bit more every stinking level? Oh, hey. Damn it! So sick of this. I hate this. I hate this. I'm supposed to pick up the damn birds and toss them at the tall one. Is what you're supposed to do. Sure, is easier in concept, huh?
no, no! I quit. I'm done with this garbage. Fuck it. Fuck it. I hate this. And yet I'm fucking opening up because I'm crazy. Okay, let's go. Bobo is the name of this damn bird. No! No! Okay. <sighs> okay. I just assumed touching the talons would hurt you, but all along I've been wrong! Coins! Get all of the coins! I already have not gotten all the coins. Finally! It was just a little misunderstanding that was preventing my progress all this time. <sighs> Whew, we got a huge haul though, and I'm not gonna risk it on gambling. Look, Wario has a lot of problems, but maybe just tonight a gambling addiction isn't one of them, huh? Wait, hold on, I need to get more water. I got it. Huh? What? What just happened? Did Wario, like, get shot from the ship? Where is he? I mean, I guess I see where he is. He's right here. We seem to not be able to leave, huh? Oh, Parsley Woods. Oh, what a horrifying place. You have to admit, though, that skull trees are already a lot grimmer than the Forest of Illusion back in Super Mario World. Wasn't Parsley Woods and Princess Tomato? Is that in the same continuity as Mario? I mean, Mario has living mushrooms. Oh, it sounds like we're in a mystical place. What was that? What the? Um, not sure what was up with that thing. Okay. It's another one of the ghost guys and we beat it, but are there just, like, giant spike balls falling from the sky? Do they fall at regular intervals, or is it like they're fall at set places? Like, yeah, I thought there'd be one that would roll down these steps here. Is it... gone up? Oh no, it, it came back. No! Get out of the way. Okay. I gotta remember that they fall straight down. Why? Why was that one so uniquely more dangerous than any other one of the little ghost goons I've encountered, huh? No! How the hell was I supposed to dodge that? I just gotta be calm. Bobo is dead. No, he's not. I know it's in Wario Land, too. Wario will never spill that horrible monster's guts! I guess what's going on is, they fired Wario out of the cannon, and he ended up in Parsley Woods, and now they're shelling Parsley Woods with spike balls. What? That didn't hit us! It did- it didn't hit us, did it? I mean, I guess it did! I guess this- well, at this point, as I've said many times, I think that the island is literally- it's probably built out of the abstract concept of death. Which, I must say, makes these pirates pretty hardcore. You know, as far as, uh, pirates go. I gotta say, I wouldn't have expected, um... Expected that of them. I would have expected something a little gentler. Okay, any more... No, none here. I missed a coin! And there's gonna be... Yeah, this one. See? Even with our... Gen generally limited, um, you know, ability to... See, the the spikes, they if they hit a wall, that, like, th thwarts them. They seem to always roll towards us, no matter which direction 
Like, they initially rolled in. Oh no. Get around the ghost! Get around him! Man, I never thought I'd be scared of one of those goons. Garlic! No warrior- There we go! Look at all these coins. It's probably worth going through that door though, isn't it? It'll just be a checkpoint though, right? It's looking that way, even though- Yeah, it is, but there might be coins in here. No, there aren't. Eh, I don't need a checkpoint. I'm gonna regret this, probably, but I always regret it. Wario Land is the story of a man full of regrets. Wario has that big dopey smile on his face, but inside... Inside, he's anything but smiling. It feels like... This is... His war against the pirates of this island is, um... Uh, it's like metaphorical, right? It's, of course, it is also literally a war against pirates on this island, but it represents his struggle against societal mores. Mor mores. Not a word you use too often, is it? Um. Whoa! I thought that was gonna jump down in that hole there. There's probably something hidden down there. Oh, well. No, you know what? I'm actually am gonna check it out if that ball isn't gonna crush me. No, nothing that down there. Complete trap. Or rather, a place to hide from the falling spike ball. Yeah, Wario. Just give a thumbs up like this isn't a life or death deadly struggle for survival. Okay. Okay, now what? Oh yeah, that was just the first stage of Parsley Woods. I admit that I forgot. So the pirates have stranded us here, huh? At least we're no longer in the lake of Parsley Woods. We climbed out of that, and... Is this another minecart level? Oh. Yeah. This is such a, like, unpleasant song. It's kind of amazing, honestly. I kind of, like, adore that about it. And it's very guttural. I probably went on too long with my, uh, rest- with my- with my, uh, interpret- Interpretation of this, uh... Uh-oh. How did that... Well, it doesn't matter how it hit me, because it did. A board? I just thought for sure I was on top of it. Of course, now I know those are Bobo's kids, so... I hate them. I HATE THEM! I hope it falls a long way, and its final moments are full of terror. Fear of death and general confusion. I'm gonna assume the skulls on that thing don't mean it's deadly, and rather they just mean that it belongs to the gang. The Black Sugar Gang. Uh. This is a uh, very strange piratical adventure. They're not normally... Can I clear this? Did I lose... Ugh! No. This isn't even fun. This is like just getting punched in the face. This must be how the psychology of like people who stay with abusers develop. Cause I'm, uh, I mean, is that too far? Uh, well, I, look, I know it's too far. I guess what I'm trying to say here is, is that too inappropriate for this content? Like, I don't want to trivialize someone. It's, the joke is supposed to be that I am reacting this strongly to this stupid torture game. I hate, I hate it. Anyway, but I was gonna say like, you know, it's like, I keep trying to say like, oh, you know, Wario Land will change. It'll get better later on. It hasn't gotten better yet, has it? No. No, it really hasn't. No! 
The thing is, no death will be satisfying enough for all these stupid soldiers. It's like they're one collective face of terror of a campaign that's been systematically mounted against Wario. I bet it's these pirates who've, like, prevented Nintendo for- We're gonna- How, What were we supposed to do? What could we have done? We can't run! That's the fastest you can go! Wario! I guess they're still experimenting at this stage. With his stupid, stupid smile. Look at that stupid smile. You know, that's the thing. Wario, for all his faults, his teeth, straight, impeccable, shiny, pearly whites, aren't they? I mean, sure, his breath stings because he eats nothing but garlic. He's gotten to this island, he's ate nothing but garlic. He doesn't even eat the souls of these horrible birds. I hate them. They also behave exactly like the demons. It's a subtle bit of symbolism that lets us know these birds are actually, um, devils sent from hell to make everything worse for everyone. No one stands to benefit from having them around. Oh, we didn't get hurt this time, though, in that point, so we might be able to get through this! Ugh. Um... Okay, you see, you can't run like that when you're mini Wario. Like earlier, I said you couldn't run. You might say, well, hold on, you've been running all the time! And no! Yes! Yes! We did it! Wario power! Wario time! <laughs> oh no. Okay, now touch it. One explosion. Another explosion. I guess these are black sugar pirates. At this point, I'm... They, they're probably very well... Well, of course, they're well aware Wario's on their island. But they're also... are like turning the entire island into this horrific death trap to keep Wario trapped here. Oh, is this gonna get us out of here? Yeah, we're draining the lake. That means if we return to the previous level, it's going to be a lot less horrible. Come on, Wario. If I know this game in its experimental, slightly non-linear fashion, that means that the um, uh, previous level is going to be totally transformed. Do we want to go back there first, or do you want to look at the train tracks? Now well, let's look at the train tracks, then we'll go back to the empty lake. Um... What, what, what even is, is it? No! That would have been very unfortunate if that's how we lost. Or it wouldn't have been that unfortunate, I mean, we would have at least... Well, we wouldn't have gotten back the bull cap. Yeah, we're gonna get aboard a train. Is This will be like the train level in Wario Land Shake It. One of the Wario Land games I did actually play. These spike nose guys were still in that one. Though, they might, strictly speaking, just have been a similar... The train is moving! Oh, it's an auto-scrolling level for some reason. Is the train moving into, let's say, some sort of... I don't know... Hellmouth? Like, other than this entire island, I mean? What? Huh? What, what? What is this? I guess these blocks are just on the track, but if they're coming from this way, that means the train's already, like, moved across them, doesn't it? How did that happen? How did that work? Didn't, wouldn't that destroy those blocks? You'd think. I guess we also rode a train in, um, uh, time zone, didn't we? Yes, I think we did. Oh. Now we're gonna get back inside the train? Nah, I don't need a checkpoint here. I'm gonna be fine this time around. I, another thing I like in this level is that the uh, scrolling is sort of the wrong way. 
Of course, there's no wrong way to, you know, it's not like it's the objectively wrong way or anything, but normally games scroll in the other direction. I think it's just an interesting change of pace to scroll in this direction instead. Oh, there's gonna be another bird though that swoops down, right? Yeah. We're gonna get a lot of coins. This is actually a pretty good level. We're getting rich! Or not. No! No! Anyway, I guess it's a, uh, you know, what we need to do up ahead is sort of damage control on that one part where we lost before. I think it'll be a Skyland Shribda sort of situation where we don't want to, um, uh, we don't want to lose everything. So we are going to pass on those last group of coins where we lost before. Because it's better to get some coins than it is to lose everything. Oh! Oh, whatever. Ah. Oh. There probably would have been good coins in there, huh? Anyway, we're gonna ride this, and we're still gonna get a lot of coins. We're just not gonna do it on the, um, that last one, the trap that got us last time. Come on, bird! That's what I thought. I do like Bird-O, though. The, uh, Mario series main transgender character. Although... Oh, no. No! 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 Why? Can't you fucking record? I'm. S I'm uh, I try not to cuss in this, but I just think it's bad form. It's a Mario game, but this isn't a Mario game. This is a Wario game. It's from beyond the veil of hell. So it did. Oh God. I, I I'm beginning to regret how much I've loved the Wario series over the years. Cause you know what? If this is what Wario is, if it's like having your teeth torn out. I, it's terrible. It's What was I thinking? Why would I... Why did I ever want to play this game? Why did I spend money buying this game on Nintendo's eShop, huh? Why did I do... It's because I wanted to play it. I didn't realize that I was basically signing up for, like... I don't even know what this is anymore. I don't, I don't know what this is. This is... This is some kind of joke? Is, is this... I guess, I mean, I've done a lot of bad in my life. Basically, my entire life is nothing but bad. Nothing but. It's not bad through actively being cruel so much as it is through inaction, I admit. But in the long run, you know, there's not that much of a, a difference in the result of these things. And maybe, maybe this is my penance. Maybe my way of repenting for what I've done is by slaughtering pirates and suffering alongside Wario. The logical extreme of our society's blind greed. There was a Chinese movie called Blind Alley. Um, it's a very good movie. Uh, I would definitely recommend it. I think it's banned in China. It basically is about how um, the, the dangerous conditions in uh, Chinese coal mines and more broadly about how, um, uh, you know, the modern uh, pursuit of profit has uh, destroyed all sorts of morality and, and basically made people like inhuman. Um, and the main characters are these couple of con artists who whose con involves befriending people and then uh, like killing them in a coal mine, making it look like it was an accident, and then paying off the extremely corrupt coal bosses so that they uh, uh you know, to extort money from them. It's a very bleak, sordid picture of a society where there's no morality, only so-called rational self-interest. It's uh, very disturbing and bleak. Uh, I mean, it's not hopeless or anything. But the idea of the title is that not only they're in, are they in the black mine, but it's the, it's the, I think they call it the blind shaft of modernity. Greed. Nothing but greed with no sense for your effect on other people. Maybe, maybe this is my punishment for pursuing my own blind shaft. By the way, Sh Shaft is, an, is a Japanese animation studio. They seem to specialize in trashy sex comedies, but somehow they're so weird I love them anyway. Okay, Wario, let's go back to the drained lake like I said I would five hours ago, before the train ride of death from hell. Do you do boo? No more Spikos? 
I think, I think no more Spikos. Oh, but the uh, pirates are already back looking for me, eh? I wouldn't expect anything li Oh! Hey. Okay, Key. You stay right there, Key. I'll take... No! No! You! Damn you to hell! Ugh. Okay, let's come on, Key. Let's take the key. Let's get out of here. I've really lost all semblance of trying not to swear. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Wario. You deserve better than me. No one deserves this. No one no one deserves this kind of treatment for me. Now I just gotta get this key through the whole stage, right? Oh no. Oh, oh! Um, that was very effective. It was super effective. Are we gonna go down into the river, into the lake bed? Yeah. I like the idea of, hmm. Not gonna do us much good that way, is it? Probably we could have gotten a jet thing on the other side. Oh no. No! Okay. No! There we go! I finally did what I've been trying to do all along. What are we gonna find down here? Um, death, suffering, and pain? Well, yeah. This is really, I mean, this should have just been, I know it's called Wario Land Super Mario Land 3, but they could have just as easily and accurately called it uh, Super Mario Land 3 Suffering Horror. It could have, it should have been called Horror and Suffering, the Wario story. The way of the Wario. This, <laughs> the way of the Wario, like the way of the world, but it's, it's Wario. It's not like even a pun that I just said. I have to say, uh, when they're not shelling this place with giant spike balls, they must have assumed that they had killed Wario, and so these guys were sent here to make sure, which is why they're heavily armed. Because if the pir if the Black Sugar Gang has learned one thing about Wario so far, it's that man, he doesn't, uh, he's not gonna, he doesn't go out easily. They, he's single-handedly, um, taken out a lot of pirates. There are a lot of pirate brothers in arms who, you know, what Wario's done to them is at this point already, from their perspective, unforgivable. And at the same time, it's a morally ambiguous situation. Because, yeah, Wario's a bad guy, but he's going after other very bad guys. You know, they're pirates. We could say that, yeah, you know, what, what, what is the difference between Wario and those pirates, after all? At the end of the day, Wario, he is, you know stealing and hurting people just like they they did oh yeah wario 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 time okay this game has its moments a science guy head is that mad science stein from Wario Land 4? But like a transparent crystal head of his? It honestly might be a crystal monkey head. Probably they stole it from some tribe that worshipped a monkey deity. Or, I mean, why am I going immediately to a deity? It could very easily just be a tribe that lives in a place where there are monkeys, so some art artist made a statue depicting a monkey. They're not all idols and deities and stuff. I guess I'm just saying it because I thought it'd be sort of more magical. And that seems to be what the theme of the treasures is. They're special in some way. And not just because they're treasure. Treasure! How much we got? Wow. I like how much we got. Really, things are... I, I'm, I'm proud. Because in this game, you get those coins one coin at a time. We're such good thieves and murderers. All right, to the... This could be the space between the two skull trees, or it could be that giant tree trunk that's also on top... Uh, I can't tell. I think it's... Yeah, it's in front of the railroad tracks. They might partially go over some of the roots in the back. Oh, is that the cloud? Yeah, it's the cloud. The lamp cloud. Cloud lamp. That's probably its name, right? It, can it get through this uh, wooden planks above us? 
No, it can't. By the way, can it also, can it, um... Oh, hey, we're up here now. We can't hurt it, apparently. That's a shame. Also, I can't rise up, huh? And Oh, there's just another one. It's Cousin. Well, we got away from that one, too. These, you know, I would... You see, the Cloud guys seem to be almost like a Lakitu kind of enemy, right? But so far, they really have not been that dangerous! I thought maybe I could stand on that little limb. If I'd programmed this game, I would have made you able to stand on it. Yeah, yeah. Wait, we're... The tree has been carved out quite a bit. There was a level like this in Super Mario Land 2, also. Where he's inside a tree. Of course, the tree there is full of, like, very restricting, sticky sap that severely slows down your movements instead of, um, the... I guess. This, is this water? The tree is so carved out, it could very easily be water, but I guess this could also be sap. But then it would be slowing down Wario's already sluggish movements. Or maybe his movements are so sluggish that it would be basically indistinguishable. See, we finally fed one of those birds the first time around. Oh, there's another hungry, hungry birdo. Not really. Birdo, like I said, is a... Oh, well, so much for that bird. Bird, I respect you, and I honor you for what you do. You see, you combine poop and money, two of Wario's favorite things in the world. Hey, hey, there's another one! Ah, uh, well, we're probably not gonna get it. I'm fine. I do like, though, that that, uh, that checkpoint right there was from another area, from, like, earlier. Like, oh, wait, no, I thought that checkpoint was somehow I'd not noticed it when we swam inside the tree before. Turns out, no, it, it was, we'd already, oh, no. Money. Money, I love. Coins, I would get more coins if I could. Always coins, I love coins. Uh, it's like, you know Scrooge McDuck? Like the famous bathing in gold coins thing? Which is absurd. I mean, you would dive into that and just get a concussion. It'd be like diving into a pile of rocks. But, uh... Oh, we're already at the exit? At oh... Okay, so there was a treasure chest somewhere along the line. Uh, let's go find it. It was probably just on the other side of that water pit we were just swimming through, right? The key won't even get in our way so much when we're in the water and Wario's balancing it on his head. Because we're not, like, we we don't, we can't attack him in the water anyway. Not as we are now, and oh, do you hear that? You might hear the thunder in the background. That's because um the world is ending right now, now and there's... We're in the midst of a sort of apocalyptic, um, thunderstorm. Happens sometimes. Uh, but it's very appropriate because this game is sort of like the end of the world. I'm not gonna edit at this point, what do I care? This is just gonna go up, you know, what, what, let's just get- Oh, the sacred baseball mitt. Good, I love baseball mitts. I love sacred ones. It's a- yeah. Really, it's kind of- it's, it's probably autographed by, like, a famous baseball player. Like, Mario. Wouldn't that be ironic? Wario gets a baseball glove autographed by his sworn enemy, Mario. Could you imagine that? I... can. And down we go! What? Kaboom! I could see that, though. That's the sort of thing that would happen to Wario. He spends- he goes on this whole journey to try and get away from Mario. Maybe that's what he's trying- maybe his real- what he's really has in mind this whole time is- is escaping the past, his past with Wario- with Mario, his history. Do you think he regrets having Tatanga, you know, attack Sarasa Land like that? A lot of people died because of him. Does he even care? Is there- is there any heart behind those beady eyes of his? They're not beady, actually. They're just kind of crazed.
You might notice actually in this game his eyes are slightly, or his pupils are slightly unaligned. That's because uh, that's just how Mario is. In these days, I mean, when this game was made, uh, all the Wario games, um, that, like that's just what, that's how they drew Wario. They drew him with his eyes slightly unaligned. Okay. Oh, that was a bright flash of lightning. I wish it killed me. I wish I was... Well, okay, let's um go on the train tracks. Again. Again. These are the best stages. Now, in principle, riding a minecart really fast with Wario in it should be fun. But leave it to this to... for it to not be fun. Why did I hear the running noise even though he didn't run? I don't know. It's a secret to everyone, right? I think the train is moving again. Yeah, the train is moving again. I have to say, actually, it's a very nice touch that they even animate the train moving like that. Da da da! Duck! Ah, didn't duck in time! See, I it was a, it was a good joke. Uh, I guess I've had some ducks appear on ma the Mackerel Phones channel before, haven't I? There was, uh... Which ones that I did, uh... There was the duck in Dreaming Sarah. He was a real quack. Dr. Duck. You should do what I say, he says. Because I'm a doctor. You know, Wario was also a prominent character in, uh... Dr. Mario 64. We just horribly killed that duck. He was run over by his own, by the train. The gore that was, I mean, it was really, it's honestly disturbing how far Wario is willing to go and, and to just to, just to hurt. This is really, um, it's not, it's about how Wario is trying to get away from his past identity, but he can't. It catches up with him because at the end of the day, all of his actions are colored by greed. Can we walk on that? Yes! But I wasn't sure, and so I got hurt. No! Wario! No! God, Wario, why did you wait around? Like, why did you wait a second when you picked him up? Oh, I see. It's because they're big, and because we're small, it takes us, like, a, a, a second to pick up the, the duck pirates. Or, I've noticed that with a lot of the pirates, they seem to be harder to pick up than just, say, a wandering goon pirate. Which, obviously, you know, it makes sense. It makes sense that our strength would be proportional to our mass. Because that's how it works in our universe. Anyone else? No? You can understand, though, right, why I would have thought maybe you couldn't, uh... You couldn't walk on those chains. I've probably walked on them before. But I guess I just never really saw them in, like, a big length like that. That duck got off easy. Duck and cover. Garlic! That's what I wanted, was my one true love, garlic. Does Wario have any true loves in life besides garlic? Well, we know Mona likes him. Cool? Wario? Yeah, he's my fashion icon. I love him. And that stash. Stash? What? What? And who can blame her? Look at that face. Have you ever seen anyone more handsome? I know I haven't. Ever. You see, I'm saying this because I look exactly like Wario. So when I look in the mirror, I see that face. And so I have to I have to tell myself I'm beautiful. Wario! Hey, hey, no! Come on! Bye. Whatever. Hey, oh yeah, I'm tall again. Ah. This doesn't even count as a Wario impression. He just sort of makes noises. Ah. Have a rotten day. Rotten day. Next to me. Or no, it's like, compared to me, you're all number two. Okay, we're gonna find more monsters. Er, I assumed. 
Well, I mean, we are going to just buy. Oh, great! Another one, one of these. Another one of the clouds. It's clouds and s rolling spike balls. Uh, and a pit pits of, of the piranha plants, the mini chompers. Well, at least we don't seem to be encountered any more of those th things. The uh, spike balls. I mean, we've certainly encountered more of the piranhas after that first one. Coins! They're my favorite collectible. All video games should be about coins. And yet they didn't even put them in New Super Mario Bros. 2. You know why that is? It's because Nintendo is literally pure evil. Huh? It's open for money, but I'll take a few lives. I think I got at least one live out of that. Life. Live is the is a verb. Or it's an adjective, rather. Live is the verb. Live is the adjective. Life is the noun. Whoa! No! Nice try! Cheaters! This is why he talks about cheaters, isn't it? It's because he knows at the end of the day... These kinds of... It's because he's gotten so used to these kinds of vicious traps that have been set against him. Whoa, no! <laughs> Easy. I guess I should have just ducked in that hole, though, shouldn't I? Oh, no! It bounced harmlessly off of his helmet. It's because it knows that this uh, spiked horn bull helmet, far from being a load of bull, is actually really charming. Why does that cloud... Why does it have that lamp operating thing dangling from it anyway? Is it because it's an electrical device? Are we meant to understand that's how the pirates are operating it? Are the... Ow! Okay, we're gonna lose for sure to the boss now. Good. I love it when I know that... No! That my struggles are completely in vain ahead of time! Hopeless! I mean, hopeless odds are, you know, they make for good storytelling. No! <laughs> I hate you, Wario. I No, I don't. I love you. <gasps> I love you, Wario. You're the only one who gets me. This is what it's like to be alive in our world. It's hell. It's the most accurate representation. This is the divine comedy. This is our journey to hell. I don't know if I'll fix the video ever, so it might never even be on this channel. But this will be a more accurate journey to hell than Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice was. But you know what it won't be? What? I was ducking! I was ducking! Oh, why'd they even put the pit there? They did it just to be cruel. The pirates knew that what Wario was thinking, and they... They wanted to, they want to take everything from him, don't they? Admittedly, he's taken a lot from them, and a lot of lies. Like, too many lines have been drawn at this point. There's no crossing them. There's no going back to the way things were before this. Wario is going to get his castle. He's going to get it! No matter what. And the sad truth is that that means that some dark things will go down. And that's... that's... that's the truth. He knows... like, after he's killed so many pirate brothers and sisters... Hold on, before I go here, I want to see what the boss will be. Oh no, the walkthrough says it's a tough boss! No! They said Bobo was easy! They said it was easy, Bobo was e- How- This will be imp- What's gonna- Do you walk in there and it's just- The whole screen kills you? Is that what it'll be? Let's see. Um... The walkthrough remarks Wario moves about as fast as a snail with a double hernia. I don't think snails can get hernias. I don't think that's how their physiology works. Okay, so what you gotta do is not let it touch you. And hit its small minions to throw at it. Okay.
I will. What? And now the game crashed. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, I got through the level. I got through it. You saw that. You uh, you know I got through the level. Oh, why, Wario, why? I've been, I've wanted to defend you. I wanted, I wanted there to be more Wario games, but instead you do this to me. I finally go to, but then I guess this is what I wanted all along, isn't it? My own personal hell to punish me for my sins, for all the evil that I've, that I've allowed to pass through my inaction. I've been trying to volunteer in my community. I really have. I've, I've reached out at this point to four volunteer organizations, and literally none of them responded at all. I expected I'd at least be sent like a monthly newsletter or something by one of them, but no. No, I haven't, but it's my fault. There's so many more I could have gone to, and I should be going. That's what I should be doing right now. I shouldn't be doing this. But, you know, sometimes I think that maybe the only good people can be those people who've undergone quite a lot of suffering in their lives. And maybe maybe that's what this is for me. Maybe I want to be a good person, too, by doing something that's just completely unpleasant. Then again, if I wanted to do that, I guess I already played Yuno. I hope it saves. It saves after every level, right? Why does it say 29? No. No! Oh no! Oh no! Why can't anything work in my whole life? Why? No! No! All over again! No! <laughs> it was a complete waste! A complete waste! <sighs> Maybe I should go to bed. Wario time, Wario time. Wario is the power. Wario, Wario. Obey Wario. Destroy Mario. Wario, Wario. Wario loves you. Wait, those things are coming out of its stomach. Like, it comes out of- it's regurgitating these birds. I don't want to imagine how that- No, 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 no! No, 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 no! No! No, no, no! I beat it! I beat the damn bird! I beat the- No, no, no! I beat it! And now will the computer crash too?